Hey, it's Steve. In this video, I'll be making a small HO scale diorama in a glass dome. The reason for this project is that one of my brother-in-laws jokingly asked for a van down by the river for Christmas. And so that is what I decided to give him. And since he also likes to kayak, I included a couple of kayaks as part of the scene as well. I picked up a few glass display domes from Ikea that contain a nice wooden base and then I ordered the only HO scale van that I could find that would actually get delivered in time before Christmas. I also picked up a Woodland Scenics HO scale campsite and a pair of kayaks. For trees I decided to use some Woodland Scenics fine leaf foliage and everything arrived a few days before Christmas giving me just enough time to complete the project. And I didn't want to build everything directly on the wood base and make a mess of that, and so I used a piece of styrofoam. I pressed the glass dome onto the foam to make an indentation and then hacked away at it with a knife until I had a circle of foam just about the right size. This would have been easier with a hot wire cutter, but I didn't bother getting that out since it was kind of just a quick job with a knife and I only had the one piece of foam to cut. Next, I placed the items I had on the foam to decide on the arrangement for them and marked the foam where I wanted the various little sub scenes to be located. Then I started shaping the foam. I needed the river area to be lower, so I cut that part down quite a bit and then also shaved down the part where the van was to sit, leaving the camp area the highest. And once all that was done, I covered everything with a coating of all-purpose spackling paste, and that helped to smooth out all the cuts in the foam and added some texture to the riverbank area. That took about a day to dry since I left it in the cold garage, but the slow drying time also prevented any cracks from developing, which was nice. And the next day I came back and painted the entire base with an earthy brown color to provide an undercoat for all the scenery. Once that was dry, I painted down a coat of matte medium, but regular white glue would have worked just fine as well. I like to use this earth ballast for my dirt bases, but only the bigger chunks came out when I first shook them on. So I had to knock those off and then I just poured out some of the dirt on the cardboard and grabbed the finer powdery dirt with my fingers and covered the base that way. I put on plenty of the bigger rock bits as well here and there, especially along the river's edge, and then soaked everything with isopropyl alcohol and then a diluted mix of matte medium to adhere everything well. And the main reason for using the matte medium instead of regular white or PVA glue is just that it leaves a matte finish instead of a slightly shiny finish that PVA glue does, and it's also a little bit more flexible, but for a project like this, really any glue is going to work just fine. I sprinkled some N-scale ballast on the area where the van was to be situated to kind of imply that there was actually a road going to the area where the van was sitting, and then I kind of smoothed everything out with a brush and added a bit more of the glue mix. And then before moving on, I did lightly sand the base uh, with a sanding block just, just to kind of knock off all the bigger chunks that might be kind of loose so they wouldn't be falling off later on uh, during transport. Next, I mixed up a few shades of static grass in my static grass applicator so there would be some variation in the grass color. And I'll have a link below in the description to the applicator that I use. I used the wood base for the diorama as a cover and held that against a static grass applicator while I shook it up to get a good mix of the various colors inside. I placed the van and tent on the diorama and then I used a brush to dab on some tacky glue everywhere where I wanted the grass to stick. I wasn't trying for 100% glue coverage since I wanted the dirt to show through in different places. I used the tacky glue since it would help keep the grass fiber standing up better, but normally if I have a big area I just use regular white glue or matte medium. With the glue in place, I started shaking static grass onto the diorama, but I forgot to touch the power lead from the static grass applicator to the foam base, and so the grass wasn't standing up like it was supposed to since it didn't have the static charge. So I shook off what grass I could, and then I connected the alligator clip from the static grass applicator to a small screwdriver, and then held that against the foam base so it would be charged properly, and then I tried again. And this time the grass stood up properly, and I had a great looking base. And with the glue on the base drying, I shifted gears to work on the van for a while. I needed a roof rack on the van to hold the kayaks, and so I made one with some round and half round pieces of styrene rod. I used the half round pieces on the roof of the van, and then I used the round pieces to build up the rack itself. I cut two pieces of half round rods to be the length of the van, and then I tried to figure out the length of the crossbars. I measured two kayaks side by side, but that ended up being too wide, so I cut the rods shorter and figured that with the kayaks tilted on their sides, it would work out okay. While attempting to glue the crossbars to the rails, I realized that things would be a lot easier if I taped the roof rails to the van so they wouldn't move around. 
and then I was able to get the crossbars glued on in the correct locations. I needed some vertical bars on the ends of the crossbar so the kayaks wouldn't slide off, and so I cut and glued those bits of rod in place next. With that done, I glued on a couple of longer pieces of rod in the middle of each crossbar. Then I used a couple more pieces of the half round rod to span between those little vertical pieces to create a rack in the middle that would serve as something for the kayaks to rest on. And since I had two kayaks, I planned to have one in the water and one mounted to the roof of the van. But since I didn't want the kayaker on the kayak that was gonna be mounted on the roof, I had to cut him off. And then after that murder most foul, I test fit the kayak on the roof of the van and it seemed to fit pretty nicely. I had planned to take the roof rack off the van and paint it, but apparently I had gotten some glue onto the van roof itself. And so it was glued down in places. And I didn't want to try to pry it off and break it. So I just kind of doubled down and added more adhesive everywhere so it wouldn't come off later. And then I cut off bits of rod here and there that were kind of sticking out a little bit too long to get everything just the way that I wanted it. So next I grabbed some black paint, a very fine brush, and just carefully painted the entire roof rack black without getting much on the roof of the car itself. And a van down by the river probably wouldn't be very clean looking, and so I took a brush and weathered the van using some of the same dirt that I use on the base itself. I didn't bother trying to adhere the dirt to the van with dull coat or anything like that, since it wasn't really going to be handled anyway being inside the glass dome. And the dirt did make for a more realistic appearance of the van, and I was pretty happy with how it looked once all that was done. So with the van then glued onto the base, I moved on to gluing on the tent and some of the other details from the camping set that I had from that little Woodland Scenics kit. Next, I drilled holes for the trees and test fit the trees in place, but before gluing them in, I decided to secure the foliage to the trees a little bit better so it wouldn't come shaking off later. And so I put the pieces of its fine leaf foliage that I used for the trees into a separate piece of scrap foam and then sprayed them down really good with a clear coat to help really glue on that foliage better than it already was. I came back later that day and glued the trees in the base of the diorama. And since the Arctic cold front swooping across the country had blown through earlier in the day, it was starting to get really cold in the garage, so I quickly moved on to adding the resin water. I wrapped the diorama with some tape to create a dam to hold the resin in place, and also added some tape on the bottom to limit how much resin would eventually leak out. I used two-part Envirotex epoxy for the resin water and poured out equal parts of resin and hardener in two Dixie cups. I combined those and then added a couple drops of blue color to the water to kind of give it just a slight tint. I poured the epoxy back and forth between each cup several times, mixing each time I did that, to try to make sure I had a really good mix of the resin and hardener. Because if you don't mix them really well, you end up with some soft tacky spots uh, after the resin cures. And so once it was ready, I poured about half the mixture onto the diorama since I didn't really need that much, and then just ended up discarding the rest. I often use a liar to help pop the bubbles on the surface of the resin that form, but briefly ended up catching one of the trees on fire too. So a safer but less exciting way to pop the bubbles is just to kind of slowly exhale on them uh, as they rise to the surface of the resin. And I periodically had to either do that or use the lighter again to kind of pop all those bubbles during the course of the next hour or so. A lot of them will pop by themselves, but you don't really want those bubbles hardening in place and looking kind of odd in the water. So once the resin was partially set, I slightly pushed in the kayak so it would be in the water instead of just sitting on top of it. But I ended up doing that a little bit too early, and so it kind of gradually settled down into the water a little bit more than I wanted. The next morning, I worked on pulling the tape off, which proved to be rather hard to do. Then I shaved off the top of the resin water with a knife to remove that little raised edge that typically forms on the edge and it ends up being pretty sharp. It is cold. It was getting hard to work at this point though since it had been less than 5 degrees for almost 24 straight hours along with a lot of wind and so the temperature inside the garage was well below freezing at that point. And since I was wearing gloves and struggling to work well, I ended up breaking off all the trees and had to drill new holes and glue those back in place. And then when I was doing that, I knocked the van off and had to glue that back in place too. Once everything was glued back in place, I used some Woodland Scenics water ripples to add some texture to the water surface. And it's normally a pretty thick product, but because it was so cold, it had actually almost completely solidified in the container. But it did make it pretty easy to get a very nice stippled water effect since it was pretty much almost a solid gel at that point. With the water done, I mixed up two colors of brown paint in an attempt to kind of match the color of the wood base. 
I painted the sides of the diorama and then glued on the foam base to the wood base and the project was done. And so you can see here the finished project, which was luckily finished just in time before Christmas. This was a fun little project to do and I plan to make more of these little dioramas like this in the future. I'll have links to the glass display cases I use down in the description in case you want to pick some up for yourself. And these little dioramas can be a great way to practice some modeling skills and they also make great gifts for your friends and family. Anyway, that's all for now and thanks for watching. Bye.